Hello there. Welcome back to the golf club. We are going to be talking about detaching bunkers today. In particular, the bunkers that are generated when you generate your course. So what I mean by that uh, is by default, when you're creating a hole, there are a certain amount of hazards that are automatically generated and placed for you by the course generator. So these bunkers that are created, you can see one there. These bunkers that are generated with the course generator, they are part of the hole, but you can detach them. And this is the option we're gonna look into. So here's what I mean by the bunkers that belong to the hole. You can see when we put our hazard slider up, the bunkers increase, and when you put them down, they decrease. So here we are, we're left with this generated bunker. And you can see when we put the cursor over top, our contextual menu changes and we have the detach option. Now it's worth noting this detach option when we enable it like we just did, it's going to detach all of the bunkers on this hole that have been generated. And now you can pick them up like you see here. The outline of each individual bunker will, will appear in red highlight when you're over top of it. Okay, we'll move that one over there too. And I think we'll try the delete option on this one just to show you. Boom, that's gone. So now we're cooking. Um, I'll show you up on the, the green. You can see the green side bunkers are also detached because like I mentioned before, this is a global option for this, this hole. All right, and you can also see the top left, the hazard slider has gone back down after we've detached all of these bunkers and now you can dial them back in if you really want to. Or you could detach them again if you wanted to. <laughs> so as you can see, lots of options at your fingertips here using the Greg Norman Course Designer. And that's that, folks. That is how you detach generated bunkers in the golf club. Thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you next time.